Hi guys, Professor Benson here. Hope you are doing well. This is the video on how to do the Chapter 10 assignment, which will, um, where you're going to be comparing um, the mean scores of two different groups. So in this first one, we're going to be doing um, a pre-module, post-module difference. So in this case, what we've got is um, I'm going to show you this demo here and then I've made one that is almost identical obviously I've changed the numbers and added more observations but uh, I've given you an identical one so if you do what I show you here on the video you should be able to do it so what we want to do is see if um, here's 20 students they were given a test prep module uh, and then, of course, you want to see, are they improving on their test scores before and after? So um, the first thing I ask you to do is figure out the mean of both before and after. Um, and then I also want you to figure out the difference. So the, let's do the difference first, which is just going to be the after minus what they were before. Put that in. Okay. We can format that so that it is a number. Okay, so now the first thing we're going to do is find the average for all of these. So we'll do here. This is their pretest score. Okay, so we've got the mean difference. This is what over here it's talking about a paired t-test. So we've calculated the mean difference is 2.05. Okay, now the standard deviation of both of these, we're going to use the sample standard deviation. That's what the S here stands for. So we're going to do equal standard deviation, and we're going to use this one that's dot S for sample. We're going to go here. Okay, I'll just paste that over. Oops, I don't want to paste. I'm just going to paste the formula. Okay. Now, so now we've got the, and fortunately our standard deviation, that 2.837, of course, matches up to what the, um, I took this example from right there, uh, and this is what it says. So now the way we calculate the standard error, which is essentially the standard deviation of this difference, and then, um, so you take the standard deviation of that difference, and then you divide it by the square root of the sample size, so that is going to equal this, oops, it's going to equal that divided by the square root. And in this case, it is 20. We'll make that. So we get the same 0.634. And then the T stat is going to be the mean difference divided by essentially, um, the standard error, or in other words, how much variance is there in this difference. So we're going to just do equals 2.05 divided by that 0.634, and boom, we get the same T statistic of 3.231. To find out how many improved, and in this case, I don't want you to include, so this student um, had the same score before and after, so we're only going to include the um, greater than or equal to zero and so what we're going to do is in this case we're going to do is equal to count if and it's this range comma and then we're going to do uh, is we'll just do is greater than zero oops Okay, it says 15. So it's a funny formula. I'll show you up here and we can, I'll zoom in, but you notice you put the greater than sign within quotes, then you use this ampersand, and then you do the number. I think we can also do it, we could also do it as greater than zero. I think we could put that in quotes and it would work. Uh, but if we need to do point it to something like a cell, then we would take that out of parentheses. Okay, so 15 of the 20 75% of them improved. Okay, so now then the next thing you're going to do is uh, I'm going to have you do two things of conditional formatting. So I say the bar chart. So 
what we're going to do is I need to paste these values in. So I'm actually just going to say is equal to that and then bring it on down. So these numbers are just identical. And then you're going to go up here to conditional formatting. And what I want you to do is what's called a data bar. And we're going to do more rules. And you can leave it with the default color. We just need to say show the bar only. Okay, and then the nice thing here is it's going to give us, it's a nice visual representation of how many improved and how many um, actually declined. So the red, the one, two, three, four here declined. I'm going to have you do the same thing here on the difference just to show you another way to do it. So on this case, what you're going to do is we're going to do conditional formatting. And in this case, we're going to do highlight cell rules. And the, what we're going to do is it's less than, put zero, and I'm just going to use that default. Even though it's this pink with red, but we can see here that these four declined. So if we wanted to look at that. Often you'd say how many increased and we could look at that. In this case, I want to sort of see the outliers, but there are four that did not improve. Okay. So in yours, so we've got, you're going to put in these formulas. Oh, and then the last thing you're going to do is you're actually going to use, and I'll just go ahead and um, delete this right here. But what you're going to do then, uh, and in your case, it, you're going to paste it right here. But what you're going to do is um, you're going to do this uh, two sample, paired two sample for means. So paired means, the, the paired sample means I'm taking the same students and I'm giving them training and then I'm testing a before and an after. So if you're testing a before and after on the same, um, in the chapter they used um, plants, like if I have different warehouses or different factories and I'm implementing a safety program and I'm doing a before and after, but if I'm doing a before and after on the same sets of people or classrooms or doctor's offices or whatever it is that you're looking at, uh, if, it's, if it's dealing with the same people, you do a paired difference. And if it doesn't, uh, then usually you're going to do a what, what's considered an independent sample or an unpaired. Um, those are all uh, or uh, those are all equivalent terms. So now we go to data, data analysis, and you're going to do this two, um, this t-test for paired, two sample for means. Hit OK. So the first range is going to be, and I would include the text, the label. That's the pre-module score. Here we've got the post-module score. We assume the difference to be zero. And the labels are going to be, uh, uh, sorry, we're including the labels, and then we want to test at the 0.05 level. I'm going to have this go to a new worksheet and hit OK. OK, so this is my regression. So just then go ahead and copy and paste that. Just go ahead and copy and paste that whole thing, including the title. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap that text. Okay, so if we've done this correctly, we should have gotten the same answers here, right? We get 18.4 for the mean different of the first group, 20.45. Okay, this variance is just going to be these two things squared. Okay, and then we've got a t-test or a t-stat here that I'm highlighting, which is 3.231. Excellent. And then um, on a one-sided or two-sided test, so technically we could use this as a one-sided test because what we care about is do they improve. So we don't care if there is a difference. We care that they improve. Um, so technically we could do a one-sided test. Um, because I'm a social scientist and we always tend to be conservative about what we can claim, you're gonna the answer you're gonna put in is for a two-tail test. Okay, uh, which is just gonna be double. But in both cases, it is statistically the difference is statistically significant at less than 0.05. So because this is less than 0.05, in fact it's less than 0.01. So this is highly, this difference is highly statistically significant, even though you look at it and it's only a two point change. Okay. So you are going to do the exact same thing, including putting in the conditional mean 
for the difference here and for the bar chart. So in yours, I have tried to label, let's see, the other one is the standard error. Remember, we're just, we're just matching up this right here. So this, the standard deviation of this difference divided by the square root of the number of observations. So in this one, it's 20. In yours, it's going to be 30. So in yours, you're going to go here. I've given you the same numbers. So in yours, I've given you a new set of numbers, and there are 30 observations. So your first thing you're going to do is mark the difference. You'll calculate the mean. And so you'll notice here it's blank, but you will need to input the formula yourself, the standard deviation of the sample, the standard error, the t-stat, and how many improved. Okay, And then this is what the quiz, or this is on, on Canvas, this is how you're going to put in the answers, okay? This is where I'm going to stop the um, for the first one, and then we will go to the second one.